So we uh, are starting a new year and uh, 2021 is off and running. And here we have a, a really interesting text in John chapter one. And this is a, um, a pivotal moment in the, the sort of movement of, of God in, uh, as recorded in this gospel of John. And uh, the context is that John the Baptist has, has his ministry. It's a, it's a, a successful ministry as, as far as we might measure success. There's lots of people who are following him. There's, uh, he's got notoriety. He's speaking some good, hard truth to uh to god's children and uh and people are responding in ways that uh reflect god's heart and so uh john himself has disciples and uh all the while throughout john's ministry he would be very clear about who he is that he is not uh the one hoped for he is not the messiah he is not the one that is going to uh, bring about uh the the great um sort of truths of God, the, the purpose of God, and, and, and to bring freedom for God's people. John is very clear about this. And then, of course, as he's clear about his own identity, he, he makes claims about Jesus's identity, that, that Jesus is the one whose sandals uh, John is not fit to untie. Right? And so here in John 1, uh, starting verse 35, we have this, um, this moment of transfer, this sort of almost like passing of the baton or, or this uh, moment where, where John points to Jesus um, and, and encourages his followers. Jesus is the one, right? So John 1, 35, the next day, John, again, John was standing with two of his disciples and he looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, behold, the lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this and they followed Jesus. So right there, there's this, this shift there's a, a transition from being followers of john uh, and then all of a sudden quite literally and figuratively these these disciples of john transition and they start following jesus jesus turned and saw them following and said to them what are you seeking and they said to him rabbi which means teacher where are you staying he said to them come and you'll see so they came and saw where he was staying and they stayed with him that day for it was about the 10th hour one of the two heard John speak and followed Jesus. Uh, one of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother, Simon, and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. So um, some, some things just to consider, especially as we begin this new year. One of the great uh, questions that Jesus asks uh, these disciples, and if you listen to the devotional this morning, uh, there's an invitation to see um, these two disciples, right? One, of course, is uh, Andrew, and there's an invitation to see ourselves as the other disciple. And as there's this approach to Jesus, Jesus asks the question, what are you seeking? What a great question for us as we begin a new year. What are we seeking this year? What is it you are looking for, not just um, in, in a, you know, sort of de uh, shallow, you know, sense, but, but what is, what is the, the depth of your soul, <laughs> the depth of your heart? Like, what are you seeking? What are you looking for this year? Um, and, and I think there's this celebration that as we, uh, consider that question, what are we seeking? We, we look uh, deep within that, and, and Jesus asks that to us. And as we discover the, the sort of deep longings of, of our heart, as we discover uh, that Jesus, what a brilliant question that Jesus asks, right? And so uh, I think there's this acknowledgement that we can explore the depths of what we're searching, what we're looking for, and we can go to Jesus with that. Um, and the response, of course, uh, is an interesting one. Um, that as as we uh, consider the ways that, um, that that Jesus could have responded, right? He, he were they? He says, "What are you seeking?" They say, "Well, where are you staying?" He he, he could have he could have remained guarded. He could have remained this sort of um, uh, sort of mysterious and 
revered rabbi teacher type person and he could have said uh that's not for you to know he could have kept up guard he could have but instead what does he do he invites and instead jesus invites uh an intimate presence and he and, and he and he when they say where are you staying he says come and see and he allows them access um and so for us i think there's this reminder that um in order to seek the things that we're seeking and, and to seek them with Jesus, we are invited to leave behind um, the other people, the other things, the other perhaps ministries, perhaps theologies, perhaps spiritualities. We're invited to leave those things behind just as the disciples left behind John the Baptist, who was a person who had ideas and things, who had a ministry, who had a, a theology, a spirituality, and, and, and they leave John the Baptist behind and they turn to Jesus for an understanding of truth, for an understanding of purpose, uh, for an understanding of, of freedom. And as they do that, Jesus meets them with an intimate presence. And he says, come see where I'm staying. You have access to me. So for me, as, as I begin this new year, as, as we all begin this new year, my hope is that as we answer that question, what is it we're looking for this year? We can do so with an authenticity and honesty that looks at the, the depths of our soul and our heart. We can um, recognize that in all reality, there are probably people and ideas and things and ministries and spiritualities and uh, authority type figures that we look to, to answer those questions, whether it's your politics, whether it's your, um, your uh, hope of of how redemption and, and restoration is going to come into this world, whatever it might be, even if we've been following Jesus for a long time, there's a, a good chance we find ourselves looking to other people, places, ideas, ministries, church, whatever it might be. Um, we look toward other people and places and things to answer these deep questions when Jesus says, uh, come to me for those, right? What are you looking for? I can provide those answers. And so my hope is that um, we can identify those things that have caught our attention, caught our hopes away from Jesus. We can, just like those disciples left John, we can leave those things behind and we can go toward Jesus with, um, with boldness, knowing that we can do so with authenticity, with a truth that brings our full humanity as we answer that question what we're looking for and we can do that with boldness because when people come before jesus with boldness with authenticity he responds with an intimate presence he responds with accessibility and he says come and see so may it be so may we be honest as we journey toward jesus may we be willing to do so with authenticity and vulnerability and may we celebrate uh, the fact that the creator of the universe who has come and dwelled among us uh, invites us uh, to be intimately present with him as he seeks to lead us toward truth, toward purpose, and toward freedom. May it be so.